I'm uh, the CEO of the IIT B Monash Research Academy, which is a, a joint venture between uh, IIT Bombay and uh, Monash University. The IIT Bombay is one of the probably the the top uh, institutions for uh, engineering, science, and technology in India. It's as old as Monash is, so it's uh, started in the same year. The two institutions celebrated their uh, 50th anniversary in the same year, and that's when the academy was born. So um, the f original five IITs, Indian Institutes of Technology, were started in uh, Bombay, Kharagpur, Kanpur, Bombay, Madras, and Delhi, uh, and um, they produce some of the best students in India. Many of them leave to go overseas to, to pursue their higher education, their, their masters and PhD and so on. Our intention is to get some of the best students from the IITs to stay in IIT Bombay, co-supervised on a PhD program with a supervisor from uh, Monash University. At the moment we've got 50 students in the program. Uh, they travel on a fully funded six month trip to uh, Monash University um, as part of their PhD study uh, while they're being co-supervised in their PhD and they get a dual, duly badged, a duly awarded degree at the end of their PhD program. So it's, a, it's an exciting place to be at the moment, uh, especially given the, the quality and the size of the talent pool in India. Um, culturally, the, uh, the, 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 there are some similarities and there's some stark differences as well. Uh, I still can't get people who work with me to call me by my first name. So I'm either sir or professor or something like that. So there is that uh, reverence, if you like, uh, which, which, uh, which needs to be broken down a little bit, especially if students are going to Australia and meeting with uh, David, their supervisor. But the opportunity to select students here um, is, is much larger. We might get about 60 applications in, in Monash for 40 positions. Here I just advertised for 10 positions, we got 1,900 applications. So to sift through that, to get a really uh, quality talent uh, in India is much harder. But it's, it's, it's also good at the same time. I, I make sure that in my orient, orientation for new students, I say, you're, you're, you're people, you're not slaves. So question, challenge. I say it's not um, wrong to, to challenge, but it's, it's wrong to create discord. So that's, that's essentially what I'm trying to do with the students, to, to get them to think outside the box, to get them to think creatively challenges of distance-based supervision become really prevalent as well. So there are lots of opportunities, lots of exciting challenges, and uh, I'm slowly trying to work my way through all of those. And collaboration is hard. The, the further away you, you travel and the further away you're separated, it becomes even harder. So we, try, we have to try and bridge that through uh, effective ways of collaboration. Email is terrible. Uh, so not to rely completely on email, but on sort of web-based portals, intranets, wiki, collaboration tools uh, that enable you to share documents, to talk to a document even as you're uh, sitting in front of it so that the distance becomes irrelevant.